Mustard Seed Decorative Art Studio. And we're here with Donna and Edward. And with God, all things are possible. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. I don't think I can just believe that on my own. You need proof. Well, we figured when we were explaining where we're at that we'd be weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We know. <laughs> so you're going to be teaching us how to four paint our own records. No, I'm excited. I've been thinking about it for a week. I like my record better. Can oh, I pour paint around it? And leave a little bit of the angel show on the back. Oh, it's on, it's both, on sides. both sides. It's on both sides. Yeah. So here we are. So you obviously have a Where's hole in this upper, or the whole clog. Yeah. Well, we're we're going to learn. I we're have here to learn. Oh, okay. Ready? Yep. Take it. Are you ready? We are ready. Are you this ready? And we have yes, these lovely pink shirts because I'm a pig and I will need it. Are you going to sing with me? No. Please don't sing. You promised. You promised. I never we promised. We talked about this. You know, I don't anything. remember talking about it. Hi, welcome to Poor Painting 101. Yes. <laughs> and These were the albums purchased from the garage sale store <laughs> for 10 cents. Yes. Four days at the end of the month. And I love buying because it says angel on it. Yes. The other day, I did a Doors a Day. This isn't it, but the other day I did a Doors Day one. And this is basically what we're going to get to today. Cool. First things first is they all have holes in it, so I just take a little bit of the blue putty, you know, the <laughs> nonstick and adhesive, mm -hmm, okay. just cover it up. Uh, you could remove it after you're done and after it's completely dry. Okay. okay. First things first, I'm going to give you all, <clears throat> this is just white acrylic paint. Okay. And it's mixed with Floetrol. And I'm just going to pour a little bit on, and you're going to smear it around. With, to smear it? No, not with your hand. Oh, as a matter of fact, I have gloves for you guys. Oh. You have this right here. Okay. Ooh. And you can go to the edges, you can go off the edges, just not on the floor. Okay. okay you and do that. you need some for yours, or are you going to run short? No, I have this. Uh, like, over the edge, or to, to the, the edge? edge? But this is going to, this is that medium stuff. Um, it helps your paint pour okay. or actually move around because anytime your paint sticks, um, it's going to put stress on your cells. Okay. You can actually pick it up. Okay. And like tilt it. What if I scratch the record? I'll never be able to play it you again. You never will. <laughs> oh. I'm going to give you guys gloves because that's like a big thing. You don't want to. Oh, we don't want paint your, on us. All your decorative uh, jewelry and whatnot. I feel like I'm doing concrete with this little spatula thing. <laughs> you want a bigger one? No, it's cool. I like it. Here, we can try to close this. Thank you, sir. Looks like my pizza picker upper. You commented that the last time. That's what? what I used during the brown swipe. That's right. So you don't have to be careful. These, there's Yes. Oh, I'm being careful. Did you reuse these? Yeah, because you could take them off inside out. So you don't get very dirty. Oh, uh, yeah. But, I mean, it's acrylic, so it's easy to clean. So you wash the gloves off after you use them? You could, but you can't do it here. <laughs> There's no water here? <laughs> None that we can use paint with, because it'll stain the same for she's worried about. It's okay. I don't want to get into it. Hey, I've got the great spreader. I'm concentrating. Oh, look at this. Holy mackerel. I'm just breezing through this. I like my little one. But again, this is like Oops, I'm kid stuff. Backwards. You don't have to be careful. You don't have to be precise. You just want it covered and fairly even. Oh, you well, that's, tell me that's, that's kind of precise. Oh, I dripped. Good thing you have newspaper. I dripped already. Well, see, now I'm already done, and I started way after. Oh, I have a hair in my Hey, I started late, too, and I'm done now, and I'm a newbie. Yeah. I think I get a star for that. Oh, I'm dripping. You're fine. <laughs> so you leave all this on here? Yeah. So what if you don't leave it on even? What if what, it's not remember, even? Remember, we're going to pour. So you're going to see how much so paint comes off of bumpy. this. There's some paper towels if you need okay. it. 
And you do want to get hairs out if you see them. Okay, I already have like one. Like brownies. Like your brownies? Yep. What? Don't yeah. eat brownies. We were, oh, we were talking about hair, and you said like your brownies. I'm like, what? There better not be <laughs> hair in your brownies. <laughs> sucks you in. It does look. It sucks you in. All right, so as we're okay. just, are we still um, using these tools? Well, you can set them down. Normally, you would just go and wash them. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and mix all our paints. The paints have already been mixed with Floetrol. Okay. And I use coconut milk serum today. Oh. Instead of silicone. So and can you zoom in on what he, not zoom in, but face over what he's doing over there, pouring all our paint in a cup? But you don't want to. You don't want to capture your expressions. Well, the ooze and eyes as we pour. Open, we we with flies flying into our mouths. No, there's no flies in here. I'm getting that it is. Well, there's oh. flies in my paint room. You can't have flies around paint. There was a bee on the door. Flies with a texture. Oh, there you go. <laughs> And so again, it's like layers of paint you're doing. Yes. I'm okay. Looks like a rainbow trying, color. Trying to pour it down the side. If you pour it directly in the center, it might um, <clears throat> sink. Okay. And then it can muddy. Oh, we don't want to muddy the waters. No. And I'm doing like all pastelish colors. Okay. Something, something different than what well, I just. You look like covered in paint. I am. <clears throat> I've got a lot of paint on my gloves. There's paper nothing. towels. Good thing I wear gloves. That is, that's the true marking of an artist. Well, see, I'm not an artist. <laughs> you will be. <laughs> you will be. Okay, I will be. You're going to teach me. I'll put my gloves on then. I would. I've seen this stuff go everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Okay. Okay. Now don't drink it. Okay, you know, don't drink the Kool Aid. Where's the edge? Just there's the edge. Okay. I'm going to teach you how to do this in one quick moment. Okay. okay. So stand so you back. You want to watch me? Stand <laughs> back. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. She said she's seen it go all okay, over before. So I'm taking that as a cue. <laughs> so beating our children. Take it in your left hand, and then you can take it under. But if you're we're right handed, handed. You're, I mean, we're left handed, so really? we have to do it backwards. We both are. No wonder. Yeah. All right, so do it in your opposite hand, okay. but you want to grab it under. Under, okay. And then you can just easily pick this up. Now, if you turn it too much to the side, all that paint will run off. Okay. So you just want to, one, just tilt it. Here, let's turn this a little bit. You're just going to tilt it and flip the cup at the same time. Oh, gosh, I'm nervous. Okay. I get nervous, too. too. Yeah. This, this isn't um, stress-free, either. Maybe okay. some other paintings are, but this isn't. Okay. Ready? And it will start sliding around, so if it stays in one spot, that's good. Now you're going to see some cell um, formation. Uh-huh. But right now, all the paint is dripping from the bottom to the to the um, album itself. Okay. And that silica mm -hmm. and all the colors are, they're not blending. They're doing something in there. They're getting to know each other. Okay. Did you put any black in mine? No. <laughs> Just asking. Oh. I don't want to know why. Okay, now you can let it sit and it, it will develop on its own, but... Oh, it'll just keep leaking out? Well, no. Oh. Well, very little. Will. Okay. But usually you just lift it up. Well, why don't you go ahead and do it so we can uh, heat gun it all at the same time? So you want to pull yours? You go. You go first. Oh, I'm nervous. Yeah, my so hands are. Pick it up in your left. This ought to be good. <laughs> oh, Donna, I love the confidence in your voice. None okay. whatsoever. Go ahead. Okay. Well, One. Dominant hand. This oh, is my are. dominant. Two. And I have three. to like smack them together. Greg. No. Go. <laughs> Do it. This is like jumping off a diving board. No, it's like doing the somersault. Oh, oh, wait. I'm You're dripping. dripping. You're okay. fine. It's like doing the tilt, somersault. Tilt your album as much as you can without losing too much paint. And okay. then flip the cup. And then set it down. Okay. Okay, go. Good. Oh, I lost a lot of paint. No, that's, that's not No, no, that's what you want. Oh, okay. It. It's still there. 
and that's how this it Oh, it looks like a heart. A heart. It looks no, like a heart. Right. Yeah, I thought you said something else. No, that's <laughs> not what those look like. I didn't know you could see those. With, with that. <laughs> okay, we digress. Okay. Now it's so. yours. Pick up your cup first. What note? Pick up your cup first. You want me that. to put this down? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> because you have to grab it underneath. That's how you're going to flip. Okay. Underneath. There you go. And I'm standing back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? Scary. You might Set. want to stand back too. Well, you can tilt it or put it and down go. a little bit. And then. I feel like I need to tilt it. One, two, three. No. Hey, look at that. Mine looks like an artist palette thing, it and there does. should be a thumb hole there. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it's not going to stay that way. Well, fortunately, actually. Because once you pick up your cup, and see, there's no rushing. <laughs> the cells are forming on its own. The colors are getting to know each other without muddying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the dominant color that was mixed with the coconut oil uh, meaning the thicker color will start to develop cells. Okay. I'm not sure, like I said, there's a lot of science to this. Not sure exactly what creates a, a certain cell pattern, whether it's a thicker color. Some people use metallics, that's like a thick opaque paint. Okay. Um, not sure exactly what's going on, but you know it's happening. Something's happening in there. It happens automatically. A beginner. A newbie like you can do this. Yeah. How do you know we're not secretly undercover professional painters coming to scope you out? I got it here. From who? You see our, our um, signs at the store? <laughs> yes, you're 75% off sign. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It, it's eye catching. Majestic is the word I use. Oh, well, Remember? thank you. Oh, Remember? that might be a little Facebook? over the top. <laughs> My stuff looked like a two-year-old did it next to hers. Okay, so whenever you're ready, and if you start seeing, you know, level is a big important thing as well. You okay. want to make sure you're level. If you're going to do this on a large scale. Okay. Just for one or two paintings, level is level. Now, are you sure it? mine is level? Because it kind of right. looks That's, like it's going off to yeah. the side there. So you would want to help it. You know, okay, so I need it. to kind of go you're that level. Way. No, I'm not level. You don't have to worry about that. Because you're going to be level. tipping and pouring. Because you like mine didn't move my bubbles all. moving. <laughs> so we're going to I mesmerized. Lift. Should we all do it at the same time? Sure. You just wait, pick I'm it up. Wait, I'm still mesmerized kind of by my bubbles. Take the cup off your elbow. Tilt, pick wait, pick we don't have to tilt. watch nope. first? So tilt it. Pick and tilt. You want me to do it first? Yeah. And then... Ooh, Holy mackerel. And then you're just going to let this drip but not in the same spot, otherwise it will muddy. Oh, so kind of drag and drip. Right, but see how the cells form? Yeah. And then you could just set it looks to Looks like side. a hot air balloon. Or it looks like the genie from Aladdin, and that's his tail. <laughs> or a pumpkin. Yep. Yeah, a pumpkin. When you're upside down. Or <laughs> right side up. <laughs> okay. We're upside down. So you okay. put a lot of clue right. in your coffee, right? No. no. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> Do you want to get a close-up if they're pulling her cup off right away? Because it looks totally different. Go okay. for it. <gasps> oh, I was dripping on the middle. That's okay. Well, there's, there's no mistakes. There's no mistake. Well, that's a huge mistake, but otherwise. Oh, that no. word. <laughs> <laughs> no mistakes. Okay. Oh, look at I those colors parrot. doing crazy stuff. Here is a parrot. That's his beak. Okay. Very cool. It's a shame your name doesn't start with a C. I see the letter C. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Beth kind of just pulled her straight up and got a well, different effect for not halfway. Exactly. But it doesn't matter, it though. It doesn't matter. So it's like, because oh, tip you're it. Gonna be you're going to tilt it oh, and okay. tip it and stretch your cells. So you go ahead so we can start. And then I got this okay. little polka dots. Your turn. I don't know which way I want to do it now. I have to decide, do I want to go straight up or do I want to go to the side? Ah. All right, God, here we go. What do you got in there for me? Ooh. Lower, lower. Sorry, but no yeah. mistakes. 
Am I coming off the side, right? Well, You're fine. If you Am I, it, I need to tip more? Just so it's not in one spot because then it will blend together and muddy and you don't want oh, gray. Oh, okay, gotcha, but gotcha. But if you ever do have gray, you could always so tilt I, it off. Do I want to keep, I just want to get all the paint out of here, right? As much as you can, but you're, you're done. Are you sure? Because sure. it's still dripping. <laughs> I'm, yeah, you're done. <laughs> Are you cutting me off, Edward? <laughs> How come he doesn't have like all these little dots like we do? Because we didn't do it right. Because I did it to the side. Oh, I there see. are no mistakes in art except mine's better than yours. Play nice. Now do we tip it? Well, so our eyes are both different. Oh, we got a heat gun. Okay. This is going to pop air bubbles. It's also going to help your cells. It looks like it's breathing, like a brain moving and thinking. Any cells that haven't formed yet will start popping up. They have such strange imaginations, no? Parrots and seeds. You have seen our videos, right? Yes. I saw you. what you did to that poor teddy bear. What did you do to your teddy bear? You turned him into a watermelon. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. We turned the watermelon into a teddy bear. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, hey, I'm dripping off my edge there. That's okay. Yeah. You're going to drip a lot off of it. Okay. Pull it off the edge. It's kind of like a Well, oh, yeah. This is just popping air bubbles and getting it clean a little warm. Okay. Because you want to get a bit You want to pop my bubbles. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Are you it having is. fun? Yes. This I'm having a lot of fun. This is the biggest <laughs> you got it here. Want to get it? No. Okay. Now, all you're going to do is think of your composition. What in here do you want to keep? What do you want to pour off? Oh, okay. Okay, because you're going to, this is too much paint. And the reason you put extra paint on there is so that you can start stretching your cells. Okay, you're going to so go from these little teeny tiny cells and you're going to start getting bigger. So we're going to stretch our cells now. You start taking your paint to the edge and you don't have to run it all off. You can take it to the edge and then bring it back and you see how the paint sticks and it starts to elongate. But if you go in one direction, you want to bring it back to the center. You want like the bulk heaviness of your paint back in the center. Otherwise, you'll start getting those ugly wavy lines that you can get. Ah. You can start. I know, I'm just taking it in to see what you guys are doing. <laughs> ah. Oh, I gotta get it back to the center. And the white paint underneath is helping to... Pull it. To spread to it. slide on top but of it. But I got there. that that little white spot over there. But if you want more yellow, keep all the yellow. You could run your red off. If you want more blue, you can stretch your blue. But it's important, if you go in one direction, go back to the center, and then you can go into a different direction. Okay. Especially if you're using a square or rectangular canvas. Obviously, it's a bit more difficult, different with a round. So if you just keep going around and around, will it make it a big mucky mess? You, you'll get lines. Your you'll cells lines. will start breaking. You won't have any cell formation. Oh, okay, gotcha. So like my blue is already, has no cell Whoa. formation. That's cool. Part it's of my cool, blue. I see. You, it might develop, you might be able to stretch it out. Hey, pretty cool, Beth. Yeah. Yeah, yours fun. is very cool. She's afraid, you can tilt, tilt, let go. I'm losing You've only got a little bit of white pink. space. You're gonna yeah. be tilting a lot of paint it, off. Should I leave white or should I get it all off? Yeah. There, now my red and pink came back because I stretched it. I was afraid I was losing it. And then when I tilted the other way, it got big again. But remember, you don't want a thick amount of paint on your album because oh, if so it's we too want it thick, to off. Yes. if it's too thick, it will dry and crack. Oh, what if I drip on you, Edward? You're underneath me a little bit there. I'm fine. All right, just want to point that out to you. And once your album is covered, and you're happy with your cell formation and your composition, and there's nothing oh, ugly that spots. you want to drip off. Can um, you leave some of the white showing? You can, sure. Mm -hmm. I just said that. that oh, did you? <laughs> that is gorgeous. A 
And then once you're happy with it. This looks like a lizard. You can set it down. Oh, I got rid of one more white spot. One more to go. Not necessarily. That's kind of a Just nice. Just leave that white. I like that. I'm, I'm like. It's like a claw coming in or something. I'm having white. It's positive issues. and negative space. You're good. Ooh. But see, you're doing it correctly. You're going slow. You're taking the center, your paint back to the center. I don't see any muddying. I see a lot of nice cell development. Okay, so now, how much paint do you have to get off? So is like, that, the, like is, is this, this enough? enough roll? Well, that's why I use a certain size cup because you know, you have to you know. There is a rule. It's um, length times width. Now this is only for a square. Okay. Um, times 28 gives you the ounces that you'll need to cover. Okay. Now, in a round, um, you're going to need a Copernicus to figure all that out. I'm not doing pi and radius and all that. Okay. But I just estimated that this size cup is enough to cover your paint or your album and with cell development don't and dripping. Don't move it. Mm -hmm. so you don't want to cover your white. There's a you bubble there. I kind of like white. Okay. Yeah, it's I like, like sticking the out. white. Oh, it's okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you want it thin, but if so you're happy with... So am I too with, thick? No, I would say you're okay right there. Am I okay? Yeah, because I could tell by the amount of paint that already came off. So you, I can if set it done, down? Yeah, if you're, if you're happy with the composition... You like your white? <laughs> I know Edward doesn't like it. <laughs> I would cover the edge. I would cover the white, but if you like it... I like the I white. Because I like that effect. Because I pers... Yeah, I like the white. There's a lot okay. of artists that do negative space. One... And mine Two. actually came out the worst. What? Why? And three. Well, I don't like that area, but oh, and I like you'll it. see, you'll get some extra cell development as it sits, but only within the next. No, hour I, or so. I like the lots of colors in yours. That's very pretty. And remember, we only did five colors plus the white base. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yours still like a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like, Edward, how you have a lot of multiple colors going on in one area right there. Well, That's say, very cool. Did you see that, Donna? Mm -hmm. I would say there's no mistake. Like you no, that say. is very, very pretty. Very cool. That was a lot of fun. Okay. Now, all the proceeds are going to go to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you want us to sign these for, for you? <laughs> Do you really want to take advantage of that. <laughs> I'm just going to put this over here. Okay, now you're going to get ready to come over here. Okay, so should we take our gloves off yet? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And we have oh, a garbage can right here for I you. I got paint on me. <laughs> so now Donna is going to teach us the Painting, toll painting over top of a record that has had the poor painting swipe like we did on our other video like the swipe mm -hmm. so I'm very excited I think we're gonna learn to do daisies and I love daisies. daisies okay what you are working with is oil paint I have taken the liberty of mixing a green value for you you are using plain white paint and a green value paint mm -hmm. for the leaves it's simplistic we're not getting into a whole lot of uh, instruction, although in all of our classes, everything is taught. The fuzzy end is where the paint goes. Okay. This is the part that does not go in your mouth, okay? Okay, and that, that's the that's things it. you have to tell me. Right. Now, normally in any class, we do not use solvents of any kind, but because this is stroke work, we're going to use what they call turpenoid. It is odorless, harmless turp. So that Otherwise, is not water. It is not water. It is turpenoid. And um, generally, we never use any of these things. But because of the kind of surface and what we're doing, we need the turp additive. Okay. okay. Now, you've got two brushes. One's a round. Okay. One's a flat. The round is going to be for the daisy. And the flat is going to be for the um, 
leaves when we get to them. Okay. Now I freehanded your itty bitty little strange design on for you with chalk. Okay. Don't worry about staying in the lines. Don't worry about being perfect. We don't need perfect. And when we're all done, the chalk will come off and you won't see any of it. Okay. In your design, I've given you a little dot. Okay. All of our strokes are going to aim towards that little dot. Okay, now we're going to need some paper towels in our hot little hands, just in case. Okay. And because these uh, brushes have not yet been used today, they're dry. So we're going to put it in turf, and Sounds we're going to get them nice and saturated. We're starting with, with a pointy brush. brush. The pointy brush, the round one. Okay. He's nice and wet. I'm just going to kind of touch him to the paper, the paper towel so I don't have drippies all over. Nice and wet and touch him to the paper. Uh -huh. I think this is the first art class I've ever, ever done other than like elementary school art. Mm -hmm. So did I just touch the drip or did I blot the drip? Just touch and that'll just oh, take I the drip. It. It I read it? So it's I'm okay. good. Oh my God. <laughs> well, there's a difference between a touch and a blot. Right, Donna? Absolutely. Cut. <laughs> okay, now your, <laughs> your center dot is large. Okay. That doesn't mean it's going to stay that big. But okay. what we're going to do is create a daisy, and what you don't want is a straight line. What you want is curves, okay? And okay. this is going to be a profile, not a daisy that's been scared. All, we're going to have the little button at the top, and all of our petals are going to come in. Okay. So I'm going to do it first and then I'll have you do it. So I've got okay. a little bit of turf in my brush. I'm going into white paint. And because we're doing stroke work, the paint has to be more fluid. In your white paint, I've already added turf into it, okay. so it'll help flow. Okay, and these do not need to be perfect. It doesn't matter. Let's see if Donna can do this upside down, but here we go. All right, now you're gonna touch out here and you're gonna to touch, and you're gonna press it down, and you're gonna come around and stand it up. Oh. I'm gonna do the whole daisy top so you can see. Then I'm gonna go on the opposite side. I'm gonna to touch, press it down, and come in. Now I need to, if you need to, if you need more turf on your brush, we'll add to it. Now you don't have to have them all exactly the same uh, distance. So I'm gonna go a little further down and come in. Turp is your friend in this case. I'm gonna go on the opposite side, press it down and just bring it in. And turp gives you a more fluid edge on your paint to make yes, it smoother it, looking. It takes it off than your choppy. brush, exactly. And here comes the next little guy. And my last one. And it should probably be a, a odd number of petals. Nature likes that. And then I'm gonna go way down here. Okay. Do it. Oh my goodness. Don't be afraid. Be Are very afraid. afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid. Well, Plenty of turp makes it work even better, especially on the black. And load up your brush. And as you're loading your brush, pull it off to a point. Okay. Am I doing something wrong? I'm all clumpy over here. Like you have a lot of paint on there, but it's not going to hurt you. There you go. You're good. Okay. You're good. So that's enough? Mm-hmm. You do it. <laughs> Breathe. Okay. So now just... you're going to go out towards the button. Now, if it's easier, turn it upside down. Because then you're pulling towards you. That but remember, be... <laughs> you're left-handed, too. So when you blot down, if you hook your hand, you'll be pulling up and lifting. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm just thinking out loud. So <laughs> Don't scare her. <laughs> I'm so Touch. Touch, press it down, <laughs> press, 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 lift it up and take it in. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful. Perfect. I 
very pretty. pretty. You have a petal. A petal. <laughs> well, my we could petal, make it a stem with petal. one petal. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> now touch into turf so you're nice and fluid. Okay. And go back into paint. Okay, here we go with Rembrandt. One, yeah, touch, it. press it down, press it down, and pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Perfect. Up. Nope, you're um, good. The button is only a suggestion. It's not a permanent anything. Give yourself plenty of turf. Turf's your friend. Okay. And I would say not go really fast towards the end. You can go slow. Oh, okay. Okay, touch. Sideways? Doesn't matter. Press it down. Press and pull it in. And pull it in and lift it up. There. Perfect. Touch. Looks like 20 years. Press. <laughs> Pull it in to the button and stop. Perfect. Perfect. Fill it in. She's okay. Natural. Okay. <laughs> Fill it in. Those record albums look familiar as well. <laughs> They'll do. All right. You have a limited palette of colors because I didn't want to scare you with a whole bunch of choices. So. Okay. That's All right. Good. Touch. Press it down and pull it in. Oh, that doesn't matter. Do it again. Go from the outside. Okay, touch, press down, and pull in. Okay, that won't matter because the button's only a suggestion. Okay. Oh, Rembrandt is really doing well. <laughs> You're going to give me a complex, call me Rembrandt. No, no. Well, that's Mike. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing over there, Mike? <laughs> I don't know about this. He's my favorite. It's artist. stressful. Nah, no stress. You can't screw it up. Touch, press it down, and pull it in. Press and pull. Okay, no problem. One more, and you can make that last one longer. Okay. More turf and pull. You're very relaxed. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, she's exhausted from hauling all that jewelry around all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Why don't you show them if you press, ever made a mistake? Press and in. Perfect. Perfect. We have a full-blooded Daisy. Full-blooded kind of, kind of Daisy. saggy. No, not, not really. Not really. Mike saggy Daisy. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> okay, let's go, Rembrandt. Let's oh, see. Geez. Once she starts something, she never quits with it. I don't ever quit. There and in and beautiful. Uh -huh. No, now with Yours the amount like of space waterfall. that you have in between, this is a choice, and I'll show you. You don't have to because that's pretty just by itself. But if you ever had space in between your petals, and it bothers you. You can go and do shorter ones. And give it a little bit of a layer. And you can have it in and have it in, have it in. And if you want it to expand, say you didn't want it to be too narrow of a flower, you could actually come over here and give him a little one here and a little one there. Choices. Now you could yours I would leave alone. Yours I you could leave alone or you could add more to it. What are you gonna do? Anything she wants. <laughs> Turp is your friend. Well, they say less is more, but in this case I'm gonna say more is better. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Should I make any of those longer? No, Just no. Because you it. really do have a, a, a nice, nice flower sitting there. Oh, I don't know about that. Yep. You do. <laughs> Confidence. You do. Turp is your friend. All right, so do I want to put a little more turp with this before a I put it bit. down? Yeah. So bit. just touch it in? Just touch it in and it'll it'll do it for you. Okay. And anywhere you want to put it, you've got all eyes on you, and that should not make you nervous, but go right ahead and do it. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure, none. Don't screw it up. Now. Okay, talk about something else. Oh, all right. <laughs> Now you know where I get it from. <laughs> that's okay. That's good. And in. And that one could be even longer. 
this next one right there. Do it. And in. See? You're good. Now, you've got paint in your brush. We yes. don't need it anymore. Okay. You're going to take a paper towel. Okay. You're going to lay the brush in like this. Okay. Fold over, pinch, and pull away from you. That okay. keeps us from breaking hairs. Okay. Okay. I had a lot of paint. I took a couple swipes. Okay. okay. Now do I rinse it? Now, nope. Okay. Now we're going to do the little button on the top. Okay. And then we'll move our way down to the leaf. Okay. And aren't you lucky? I only put two leaves on there. Oh, that one's beautiful. Oh, look at beautiful. you over there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here I go. I'm going to do the button for you. And again, it's a limited palette <laughs> oh, <laughing>. of colors. <laughs> because if you look at what your uh, acrylic pour is, it's multicolored. You've yeah. got a lot going on in here. So we wanted less uh, color changes in your flower so that this stands out and he stands out, but for different reasons. Okay. Okay. Here we go to the button. Now we're going to take just a little bit of white paint. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. On the tip of your brush, you don't have to load the little baby up. And we're gonna make a button shape at the top. And I'm just dibble, dabble, dibble, dabble, dibble, dabble. That's all I'm doing. Dibble, dabble, dibble, dabble. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna wipe my brush and get all this excess off. So go ahead and do that part. So just make dibble dabbles. Mm -hmm. And give them a nice shape, you know, a nice little cone shape, half moon. And it could be as big or as little as you want. Give them the same shape as those gems that I do, the tacks and the magnets, on sale at Beth and Dawn Garage Sale Store. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And they, so we like didn't try the try again yeah, just a little we've bit. sold a lot a of the bit, bags. And then just give yourself a button. I think we might have sold more today. I'm not sure. Awesome. So is so that good? It. So okay, so wipe your leave brush. It. Wipe my brush. I think you could do another dibble. Before I mess dibble. it up. Oh, One more dibble, less that, of a dab. That much. That's good. And then a base and then um, a top. It would be a half moon and I would, like right here, would be a good shot. Okay. And just tap. You just and pull out tap, towards tap. you. No, no don't even tap. pull. You're just tapping. Tapping. To make a shape, a little bubble shape. <laughs> you can't make a mess, trust me. And do I want to go back in for more paint or this If you is... run out, yeah. Oh, now see now that. that's a nice one. Yeah. And if you want it a little more opaque, you add more paint. If you like what you've got so far, leave her alone. That's actually the key to actual art, knowing when to stop. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't and you continue, you'll know you should have stopped. Okay. So, okay. Button's not done. We're going to put a little turp in our brush and we're going to go just in a tiny, tiny amount of our green. And I do mean tiny. Too much, it's going to go all over the place. And just on the tip of your brush, but at the base, the base of your cone, the center, is where we're going to just give it a little shading. And I do mean just tip. Okay, watch mommy. Here we go. We're going to just tippy, 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 tippy. See? And what this does is just gives it a little anchor. And if you think it has too much green in it, you wipe your brush. I'll pick up more white and I can tap on top of it and mute it in. See? And it melts. Okay. Looks easy. Ha! Do it. So I'm cleaning the white off. And it really wouldn't even matter. And just tippy, 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 tippy. And again, if you get too much green and you don't like it, you can tippy some clean white on top of it. And do I want a little this? A little bit of turf and so a tiny, just a brush tip of your green. That's so all. So do I is. need a little bit more white? I, I actually like it like that. But if you tipped it with white, it'll actually blend it in a little bit more. So okay. you can try that. 
And if you don't like that, we'll put the green back on top. So this there is deciding where the petals are actually coming from then. Right, and I see so them. So do I want to start here at like the base smile. of that one? Yep, yep up just to like a smile. Okay, here we yep. go. Tippy, 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 tippy. Okay, look how pretty. Now, oil paints will stay wet for several days before they dry, and the beauty of it is it stays workable for hours. I mean, we could actually get into a project that would take three, four hours a night to accomplish, but... Wow. Mm -hmm. so but should I put if, more white If you down? want to. Okay, I don't know what I want. No, it won't hurt. Okay. It won't hurt. Go give it a shot. Try saying tippy, tippy, tippy when you put okay. it in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I got too much. Okay, ready? Just did one tippy. Tip, tip. Come on, Mike. You can do it. Tippy, 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 now, still with our little guy, our little round brush, we're going to take a little turf, and again, not a whole lot of paint, but we're going to put some in our brush. So we don't need to clean it off, we're just wetting it. We're just wetting it. Okay. Okay, and we're going to make the stem. Now, you know, your hand does not have to be steady, the stem does not have to be perfect, and it doesn't matter. So, you're going to just kind of follow the line, it doesn't have to be on it. And you're just, and if you don't, oops, Donna, more paint. You don't have to be perfect, and you can start and stop with this stem. You don't have to do it in one continuous flow. Okay, I'm going and I'm going and I'm going. Some of us can do it in one continuous stroke, some of us cannot. And you said less paint rather than more. Yeah, it doesn't need a whole lot. And you've got time. If you don't like your stem, you can continue to play with it. never been good at staying inside the lines. Me neither. That's why I use chalk. <laughs> Nobody knows the line was there or where it was at. Comes right off. There you go. There you go. Done. So leave that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Then wipe your brush and set it down. We're going to switch to the flat. Okay. Breathe, breathe. It helps if you breathe. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you mm -hmm. wanted to, depending on where it ended, now I had space, so I actually made a calyx by widening. Yours is actually right up to that baby, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave. mess with so it. So it's kind of like that part's below the leaf. Below the okay. petal, exactly. Oh, I did have a different painting class, but that was for furniture, so that Perfect. doesn't count. Okay, now we're going to do cool. leaves. And we take our little flat brush, okay. and so we get them nice and off. wet. Yep, get rid of him. Get them nice and wet. Oops. Now, we can do what we call double loaded leaves. I'm not sure your stress level will call for that right <laughs> now. So we're gonna cheat. We're gonna do okay. leaves a little bit differently. They're very simplistic. They're going to be stylish. They're not going to be a real leaf, so to speak. In order to do a double loaded leaf, and we're not, I'm not making you guys do that, but in order to do that, you would have two colors in your brush. Okay. This corner would go in the green, this corner would go in the white, and then when you lay down to put down a stroke, 
you would have a rainbow blend right off the bat. Okay. okay. Well, that would make you crazy. So we're not doing that. Oh, okay. we're already crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not going to so, make us any more crazy. No. <laughs> so I'm putting a little bit of green paint in my brush, and I'll do this guy up here. And I'm going over my step. I'm getting rid of him. And I'm going to paint him in. And it doesn't have to be anywhere near the... Um, size of what's in and I'm going to pull I'm going to do a whole leaf first and then I'll let you do it with yours so we're filling it in we just simply fill it in so but then so that would be stripey if you did too right oh I see okay now I've got one color in there so I'm going to take a little bit of white on my brush and on one side, it doesn't matter left or right, it doesn't make any difference. But I'm gonna take a little bit of white. Now, the chisel edge, the very sharp end of your brush would go on the end and you pull it in. And you pull it in, and you pull it in. And that's easier than the two color thing. <laughs> uh -huh. And you leave it. Okay. Now, say you wanted it a little brighter than that. Okay, no big deal. Grab more white on your brush. Put your hand exactly back where it was and you just pull it in, pull it in, and pull it in. It's, huh. This is stylized. This is not a real leaf or, or anything along those lines. So, But it's a fun leaf because all of this is fantasy. So I'll let you try it's it on. like where we live. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in my world? <laughs> Seriously, and you don't want a lot of paint when you okay, when you base in the, okay. the green. It's a thin amount of paint, and if some of your black shows through, that's actually a good thing. So that's okay. Okay. So pick a leaf and fill her in. And now keep in mind, your daisy is wet. Oh, we don't want okay. some finger paint all over the place. And just fill it in. There you go. And if you like texture, it could be textury. It does not have to be baby butt smooth. This can have a lot of uh, action and it could have a lot of thickness and thin. Oops. No oops. Oops doesn't happen. See, the leaf just got bigger. Okay. Which is okay. Now we should put, leave it like that with the black and put some white on there. Um, the center, if you don't like that, just stroke over it one more time. And it'll blend it right in. There you go. Just do one nice side. Nice leaf. Yep. And then on one side, whichever side you feel comfy with, just put your chisel edge of your brush on the end of that leaf color, not outside of it, on it, and just kind of... And it in. Do we want to touch this first or just go no, right just through go the white? Just go into your white. Just, just go right. into the white. Uh-huh. Just like that. Uh-huh. And go on oh, the outside. Sorry, Donna. Am I playing footsie with you? Uh-oh. Is that you? Okay, whoa. Is that you? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Found your foot under the table. <laughs> whoa. Well, be glad it doesn't have four little feet running around under there. <laughs> okay, breathe and try. Oh, what? so you <laughs> breathe, what? ignore him. He goes away eventually. So we're starting from the tip from on the this tip. then. Oh, uh -huh. it's going backwards. It's okay. Backwards is good it's too. Because it's fantasized. It's I all fantasy. It is. It's so fantasy. fantasy in your daisy starts from the stalk, not from the tip. <laughs> and are you breathing? No. No. Breathe. Okay. Beth. Breathe. breathe. Now, see, oh, that's, that's not pretty. good. No, no, that's okay. Put more paint. Put, put, yeah. Okay, I'm getting to be like you guys. Put white on your brush, and off you go. So I, I could start from here if exactly. I wanted if to. If you want it, it's your leaf. You can have anything you want. And you could just leave it edged like that, too. You don't have to fill it in. You're good. Now that almost looks like he's turned. 
Okay. It's a good thing. Okay. It's okay. So just leave it. Leave it. Even be. though it's like chunky right there. Doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. We could actually turn that into a, set, a third leaf, but we're not going to. I was wondering that. How yeah. do you do that? Okay. Uh, let me get one up here. We would simply. Uh, let's see where your is. See now, you've got the white here. So if you put a little white edge right on him and that edge only, and nowhere else. You'll have two leaves. Okay, so wipe your brush off completely because you got a lot of gunk going on in there. Okay. Uh huh. Now, do I do that? No, don't need it. Just go just grab this. some white, and it's just on the edge of that upper petal, and you'll have two. Okay. Yep. Turn it so it fits. So just like this way on the edge. Just, just a line. Just follow the edge. Just go all the way up. Follow it up. And if you have to do little footy steps, do little footy steps. That's okay. Okay. Now, if you want to make it definitely a separation, right on this line that you've created, mm -hmm. little footy steps of white, and that'll set that one out. So what do I want to do, Donna? Actually, I like that a lot. Now you can do, um, no, uh, you could do like a center vein, either with pure, clean your brush off, pure white, and with the chisel edge of your brush. I got a lot of green in mine. Hold on. Just taking a little bit of white, and I use my pinky to hold, and all you have to do is just give yourself vein lines if you wanted that. All right, let me do it on mine. My mommy me show you. I'll get rid of my, see, you've got two leaves. Okay. All right, I'm erasing. Instead of one big blob. Yep. <laughs> okay, I am erasing. That's what I like about oil. It's forgiving. It is absolutely forgiving. You have forever to play and adjust and fix and you don't really make a mistake. The only time you really need to get upset is if it's something that you've done and you don't like it. And then you can adjust it. Okay, so now I'm putting a little bit of white on the edge of my brush. Now all I wanna do now is a vein. I don't wanna get all fussy or whatever. From the growth of the stem out. And you never take your vein line to the end because it cuts your baby in half and it's always in a curve. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to pull, 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 pull and stop. From the paint that's there, I can pull out and pull out, pull out. And you can do that if you didn't want to get into the other kind of stroke work or you can leave it alone. So if you're happy with the way it looks right now, leave it alone. Leave it alone. All right, I'm going to do my second one so you can base in your second leaf. And again, it goes right over that stem. And it does not have to be as big as the uh, chalk drawing. Now on these uh, records, because they've been base coated and they have uh, the chemicals in it and, and so on, uh, this oil paint will dry a whole lot faster. It'll set up faster and it will dry faster. All right, so I filled that in. And now here's your choice. Do you want to just do the uh, top leaf stroke, fantasy stroke, or just vein it? Show them that one one more time. The, the vein or the stroke? The stroke. Okay. Okay. Starting with your chisel edge from the outside edge and coming in and push. Reload because if you don't have enough paint on your brush, it's not going to work. You come in and push and push. And then you can leave it. Fantasy. Like an elongated S. Mm -hmm. 
So either it's fine, it's preference. You have to like it. I don't. And if you really wanted to get fantasy, not that we're going to do it here because these are prettier than that. I mean, you can do all kinds of dip dots on, on the edge of a, of a leaf. You could do all kinds of fantasy, abstract work on it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So you could do a vein line. You could do the stroke on top. Whatever you want to do with it. No, no. And if you use brown, you could do a shadow. Mm-hmm. Want me to do it again? All right, let me, see. let me do it upside down so you can see it better. i got to get white in my brush. Okay, you're left-handed. I'm going to go lefty. Okay, you're at the outer edge. And you're going to slide a little bit and just push in and slide and push in and you could even do both sides if you want it slide and push in and if you don't like it you can erase it touch don't be afraid and just that's okay now go to the next one and just push in there you go okay There you go. Look how pretty that is. Seriously, look how pretty that is. Now, can I just leave that or do I have to do the other side? You can side? leave it be. Let me show you closer up. Okay. See, you're sitting on these things. And in here, we have a 10-foot rule. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if it's a really bad day, it's 20 foot and stand out in the parking lot. <laughs> okay, now, oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty. For your first try, that is very pretty. Michael, you did. <laughs> Fabulous, darling. <laughs> and as soon as Rembrandt is done, we'll hold hers up. But it's not hard. It's, it's um, so satisfying. Makes you feel good. Uh, it's just not as instant as the pour, but it also enhances the pour. And I mean, you really could get very fantasy-like with it. You can do all kinds of things on it. It's up to you. You could also add more daisies, more leaves. You could add strawberries. Oh, yeah. You can do all kinds of good things. Should I try and add another leaf? Oh, you could. You want a piece of chalk to chalk it in or you gonna freehand it? No, I mean like one of these. Oh, another petal. Sure, go for it. Although you've done a perfect job with that one, and you know, it's a... I like improve upon perfection. <laughs> and see, because it was sketched with chalk, it all comes up, and no one's gonna know where your design would have been. Okay. So, let's see, Rembrandt. Let me hold it back for you. Oh, is that pretty? Oh my goodness, do I like that. Oh, these are Look cool. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Artistic license. You've just been issued one. There you go. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Very cool. It's fun. Yeah. Fun and relaxing. Yeah, that's a little... I don't know if my charms got it or... <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Black paint will cover that up. Not now. We don't want to get messy. So unless there's something else you really want to do to add to it, change it, more leaves. Otherwise, know when to stop, and you bless it. And when it dries, or even now, if we have, I don't have one now, but they have uh, white sharpies, and you can you always, always sign your name, always. Hey. Now, I think we could probably do it with our round brush, but you'd probably have a signature this big on it by the time you're done. <laughs> but you always sign. Even if you were to do a poured piece on the back or somewhere, you really should have it, it signed. Oh, that's pretty. See, this what do I know? Nice. What do I know? To make it the oddball number seven. 
Yeah, because you had an even amount of leaves. No, I didn't. I put two more on. Oh, you put two more on. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So how do you feel? I don't know. Uh huh. It, it is a it was nice. Fun. It was a lot of fun. It, it is nice fun. And you way. could just sit here forever and keep going and going because it is yeah. relaxing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So should we let our Facebook people go? We probably should. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us if you're still here. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh boy, I forgot they were all there. Yeah. <laughs> we were Thank so you, engrossed Donna. in the art. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. And <laughs> be sure to check with Donna if you want to do any art classes. She's awesome. In Chesterland. In Chesterland. Off of 322. Yes, off of Ward. Ward Road. Yep. Yep. What's the phone number? Oh, yes. Oh, 440-214-4362. Here. Donna Hahn, Mustard Zoom in on the card. Art Studio. It's awfully blurry. Is it blurry? Maybe just let it focus for a second. No? No. Nope. All right, we'll post it later. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Outfit. Are we on? Testing. Outfit 385. So here we are. This is outfit. Are you sure it's 385? Is it? I think so. I'm not sure. Or is it 95? It might be 95. No. <laughs> I don't know. It might be 95. Yeah, well, I'm growing older by the moment. Well, here we are. I dress special for the occasion with my art shirt, work of art. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? You have a full artist palette on. Complete. Yikes. Um, uh, <laughs> are you Edward's sister? <laughs> yes. <laughs> daughter just like you at home and this is how she dresses and she seeks out this type of clothing and absolutely loves it and I love it on her and on your one who can wear it on me no but on you <laughs> yes but so goodwill mm -hmm. great find this is something that I wear over and over again mm -hmm. <laughs> and these your mm -hmm. shoes, you want to be careful not to wear it with skirts with no shorts underneath. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> and then this trick is from my friend Wendy. Uh -huh. She said to use a scarf and tie it on like a skirt. So I thought it kind of went with all the colors. It does, beautifully. It does. And then another one of those eternity scarves, I think it's called. And you just wrap it around and there you go. Totally color coordinated, your full artist palette. You're good to go. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Donna. You're welcome. <laughs>